Don't do Generation Kill and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News update. Pitcam.tv had an interview with Opeth frontman Michael Ackerfeld at this year's edition of the Wacken Open Air Festival, which was held August 2nd to 4th in Wacken, Germany. And Ackerfeld has stated, when asked if Opeth has began work on a new album, quote, I've been writing a little. I'm going on a trip soon next week on my own, actually, which I've never done before. I'm going to bring the guitar and write some stuff, hopefully, but I think we're still touring and we still have another European tour coming up in the fall fall and that kind of prevents me from getting to to too into work the creative process i'm going to start with writing more for real once we finish the tour because i don't have much so if you're going to look for a new opeth album it would be maybe late 2013 I Killed the Prom Queen is writing a material for their new album. The band has completed eight tracks for their new record. The album has been scheduled for a 2013 release. And according to television station KTLA, Marilyn Manson wrote the words F.U. on his face when walking through security at Los Angeles International Airport on August the 10th. He was wearing sunglasses, a black hat, and a raincoat, and he was with his girlfriend, Lindsay. Uh, so you got to like Manson for... Uh uh, always pushing the boundaries. Also, Marilyn Manson has posted an NSFW picture from their music video for the new single Slow Mo Shun, and you can view that at his Twitter account. And Rolling Stone has published a Q&A with Lamb of God singer Randy Bly. The interview was regarding Bly's imprisonment in the Czech Republic on charges of manslaughter. Bly and his bandmates had no clue of the impending arrest in the Czech Republic when they arrived. However, the U.S. Justice Department did know and failed to warn Bly. You can check out uh, some of Randy's comments uh, below um, in the description. Rolling Stone uh, asked, did the Czech government uh, try and contact you prior to your arrest? And he said, uh, the Czech authority sent a letter to the Justice Department and our government told them basically where they can get off. They said, no, we won't cooperate. I don't know if the American government thought there was uh, not enough basis for this to pursue an investigation. Uh, regardless, what I'm a little bit steamed about is the fact that they didn't have the courtesy to contact me in any way, shape, or form and say, hey, you're wanted for manslaughter in a foreign country. So to check out the full interview, you can check it out at rollingstone.com. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and that's a Rock and Metal News update. Thanks for tuning in.